Today on Hashtag Own Show, we're going to show you how to make chocolate vegan French toast with strawberry syrup. This tasty vegan recipe is the perfect complement to Super Soul Sunday with John Mackey, and let's get started. Okay, so when I'm entertaining, I want to think about who's coming over, and you should too. And if you have a couple of vegan friends, you don't want them to be left out on the deliciousness that is brunch. So if you are hosting a brunch and you have a vegan friend coming over, make these French toasts. You are gonna blow everyone out of the water with this recipe. So what I have here is one of my favorite breads. Um, there's no flour in it, no egg. It's just a bunch of great sprouts and grains. Delicious. And my batter. This vegan French toast batter is the perfect recipe. You still get all the qualities of a French toast batter. It's creamy, it's frothy, but yet there's no eggs or milk. I have almond milk, I have bananas, there's cinnamon, and there's agave for a little bit of sweetness. So you just cook it like you would cook any French toast. You dip it in the batter, you put it in the pan with a little bit of olive oil or maybe a vegetable-based margarine or whatever you have. And so when that part is done, we want to think about the toppings. It is brunch and we want to indulge a little bit. So I made this chocolate sauce that is incredible. We're not going to put butter on these French toasts. We are going to put chocolate peanut butter sauce on them. Even better. So there's some cocoa powder in here, peanut butter, some almond milk, again, just to give us that beautiful consistency that is the cream. And let's go ahead and start using this now. Look how delicious this is. I mean, seriously, you could put this on absolutely anything. So I've got my French toast that have already been baked. And I'm going to drizzle this on now because I want this to start soaking in. Oh my gosh. It's taking everything for me not to lick this spoon. And now I've got my diced strawberries. They're sweet, but I want them just a little bit sweeter. So I'm going to add agave. Love agave nectar. And which is going to make them even sweeter, right? But now I want to give my strawberries a little bit of a kick, and you decide how much of a kick you want them to have. I've got some cayenne pepper here. Now I like spice with sweet. And especially since I've got chocolate over here, it's like the perfect pairing. So here we go. Cayenne, agave, and strawberries. And if you let this sit for like 15 minutes, oh my gosh. These flavors are gonna marry together. It's a marriage made in heaven. I'm telling you, it is so good. Here we go. Let's top our French toast. Oh my gosh. Even your non-vegan meat-eating friends are gonna love you for this recipe. They will never know there's no dairy or anything in here. This is delicious. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share this recipe with your friends on Twitter using hashtag OwnShow.